Welcome everybody to our first Mark No Free Head Coaches Show of the Year in the beautiful new studios here in the Mark Thierry Building. So glad to be joined by the head coach of Sacred Heart Football, Mark No Free, and great to see you. Before we get to football, I want to ask you the question on everybody's mind who knows and loves you, and that's how are you doing? Uh, good. You know, I'm doing all right. I'm hanging in there. It's, it depends on what week you ask me, and uh, but I'm hanging in there and pushing through it, and I got... Uh, 10 treatments down with uh, two to go. So that'll be done September 28th. And like I said, I'm getting through it and a lot of positive energy from people around me. Certainly is. And so now on to your favorite topic, which I'm sure you would like to focus on more than anything. And that's this football team and coming off the back-to-back -back championships. You guys did it again last year. That is behind us and a new start this year to uh, this uh, season for Sacred Heart Football. How did we motivate and get this team ready for opening night? Well, you know, it's, it was great to end two years in a row with an NEC championship going to the playoffs. Um, but, you know, you got to get right back to work. You know, when you get out of those playoffs and, you know, you get knocked out in the first round, it was a little discouraging. Um, but the kids got a taste of what it's like to play in the postseason two years in a row now. And, uh, you know, we got together right after Christmas, after Christmas break, and, and kind of talked to the team about, you know, where do we go from here? What's the next step? Well, the next step and the next goal is the same thing, continue to win an NEC championship get to the playoffs, try and win that first round in the playoffs, you know, set your goal or set the bar a little bit higher. And, uh, you know, we got some good kids coming back. We got a core of kids that have been there. Um, they were here when it was rough a couple years ago. Um, they've been through it. They know what it's like to get there. And uh, I think they're hungry after playing, like I said, two years in a row in a championship game and then making the playoffs. They know, understand what it takes to get there. And now they just got to school these younger kids up. They haven't gone through it and uh, keep everybody on the same page. If you're working hard and you're believing in it and uh, you're on the same page with all, all 115 kids, then you got a fighting chance. Well, you mentioned those familiar faces. Obviously, your all-conference quarterback, RJ Noel, back. His favorite target, Tyler Doobie, the outstanding wide receiver. But you did graduate 26 guys last year, yeah. so there is turnover and some new faces. What can we expect from those? Well, you know, going through spring, we had to um, incorporate some new guys that have never been on the field or a little bit here and there. And... I think that uh, some of the young guys that we got that we brought along, we've done a great job. My coaching staff has done a phenomenal job at getting kids ready to play, you know, and uh, with their strength coach Chris Fee and, and everybody on board, I think there's some younger kids that are ready to step up. I know uh, OC at the running back position, Jalen Kroom, um, you know, Moses Webb played for us the last two years. Uh, obviously, he's one of the top targets. I got Frank McConnell back on the offensive line and Nick Bartoli. And then, uh, you know, we got two younger guys in. Sean Peters and um, Sean Merrill. And, uh, you know, like I said, defensively, you know, you got Connor Caveney back, you got Connor Candido back, uh, Kellen Spaduto's back this year, uh, Kevin Berry. Um, you're going to see some younger guys like Jeff Paris, um, some younger guys in the back end, Timmy Johnson, and uh, Alex Finelli. You know, he, those kids are, you know, they can play. And they were on the field a little bit as freshmen last year and sophomores. But I think the coach has done a great job bringing kids along and, and preparing them to be on the field to step up and play a bigger role. All right, so that's what we can look forward to. How'd you get them there? How was preseason? It went well. You know, preseason's tough on everybody. You know, after three weeks of going against each other, you know, you had enough of playing each other and hitting the same kids and going against your teammates. But I thought the kids did a great job uh, with their practice habits, and I think uh, we got everything in that we needed to get in, and it's, it's time now. You know, it's time to go face somebody else instead of each other. So they'll be ready for Saturday. It is always exciting to start a season. Kickoff is Saturday night against St. Anselm. What are the keys to that one for you guys as you take the field for the first time in 2015? It's, you know, it's always a concern the first game, you know, because you don't really know what you have. I mean, you think you do some days and you don't because you're going against each other, you know, all spring and summer. But uh, they're a good football team. You know, they got an outstanding quarterback. They got some skilled guys at receiver and in the defensive backfield. And, you know, our goal is to come out, play fast, start fast, play, str you know, finish strong, don't turn the ball over, and uh, do what we do. And, and if we, we're on the same page and we don't kill ourselves with mistakes, um, just keep grinding away at it, and hopefully at the end of the fourth quarter, we're on top. But that's our goal is to start fast and finish strong. Certainly looking forward to opening night, Coach. Thanks again for the time, and uh, looking forward to the season and opening kickoff Saturday night. Certainly, sure, thank you. Coach Mark Nofrey, the head coach of the Sacred Heart Pioneers, getting ready for the 2015 season. Kickoff is Saturday night at 6 o'clock right here at Campus Field at Sacred Heart between St. Anselm and the back-to-back -back defending champions of the NEC, the Sacred Heart Pioneers.